Presenting the red corner, age 27, weighing 67 kilogram, height 1.75 meters, having a personal record of seven wins, two draw, and two losses, is the three top WKO European champions. Ladies and gentlemen, it's fighting for Dynamite Gym, Ser coach Sergio Sanchez. Let's give it up from Spain, the Spartan Alex Rodriguez. In the blue corner, age 24, weighing 67 kilogram, height 1.77 meters, having a personal record of 10 wins, four by way of knockout, two losses. He's fighting for Alexi Muaytai, coach Alexis. Let's give it up from Georgia to Levanis Rivasishvili. Ladies and gentlemen, will be three round, three minute each. Reverie in the ring, Marcos Gonzalez. And here we go. Touch of gloves. Round we are underway. One. Weight limit officially is 67 kilos in this one. But I know that Reva Sashvili fights much higher sometimes. Can fight at, I've seen him at 65 and at 71. Look at the snap he's gotten his punches here early on. Whoa, and just narrowly missing there as I believe Rodriguez slipped. No. Mm, man, buries the left hand downstairs into the liver area. Nice combination shots as he's moving to his left and so not only is he bl blasting him with shots look at that combination but he's also not staying stationary he's not moving in one place he's moving all around keeping you guessing where he's going to strike next and where he's actually going to be next and it looks like rodriguez is having quite a few problems with his footing in there look out looked like reva sashvili was getting a running start there from halfway across the ring Oh, that was a big overhand right there. Whoa! Low kick that time clipped him and took him to the canvas. And Rodriguez again trying to chase him but couldn't quite catch up to him as he was slipping again. There's a clubbing overhand right. And this time it's the Cypriot fighter who slips. Uppercut, nicely done. Ooh, finding the head over and over again repeatedly. And there's one in return now. There's a receipt. Oh, and the right hand crossed his eyes that time. It seems like Rodriguez has got himself back into this fight now. I think Revesashvili really took it to him early in the round. But just in the last 30 seconds or so, oh, and Rodriguez really punishing him now. What a shot that was. Catches the leg that time. Closing seconds now. Looks like Rodriguez's nose is bloody. That uppercut's not going to help his cause anymore. And that is the end of a. Second round. Ooh, nice two or three punch combination upstairs with both sides of the head. That'll really ring your bell.
Ravasashvili throwing some big bombs in there now and another tricky kick. That It's actually a great strategy because the ring is so slippery to use those low kicks like that. When you're, when you're chopping away somebody down near the ankles or you, you hit him with an inside low kick in just the right spot and you got a slick ring on top of it. Especially when somebody's chasing you. Back and forth with kicks over there. Wow, what an incredible shot that was. I didn't see that right hand coming, and neither did Revasishvili. You can see the blood starting to reveal itself once again from the nose of Rodriguez. Nation blows scoring again one after another there he went for that nice uppercut again but that time there was nobody home nice combinations by Revasashvili oh and he plugged him that time what a right hand that was and he dropped Rodriguez Rodriguez on Dream Street a little bit here swaying back and forth a little bit but he did take a step out and this fight will continue Less than a minute now remaining in round two. Oh, and he can't just stand there. He's got to move now. Fighting back, though. Look at these two slugging it out. Oh, and Rodriguez getting in some shots. We walked right into that left. You can't have your jaw jacked like that. Especially right after you've been dropped. Uh-oh. Oh my! The five knee now! What a brilliant maneuver! Holy cow, what a round! Levanas Revasishvili, like it or not. Look out. I still think though, that Rodriguez has what it takes to knock down or even knock out Revasashvili. Look at those bombs he's dropping in there. Boy, and last time I saw Reva Sashvili was this past summer. He looks like he's put on a, a lot of muscle since the last time I see him. There's no muscle in the jaw, though, I'll tell you what. Not much. And if you tag it just right, you'll go down. Oh, man. And the blood now smeared all over the face of Rodriguez and getting on the face of his opponent as well. Hard body kick there. Boy, these two just do not know the meaning of the word quit here. Both guys still going hard for the knockout with whatever kind of grit they've got left somewhere deep down inside.
Revas Ashvili is targeting the body, and when he does, it's having a tremendous impact. Rodriguez on the run here. Look at him coming forward, falls into the ropes and catches a kick there. Revas Ashvili had his gloves way down low. This is like an episode of The Walking Dead. Look at these two. How are they even able to stay vertical at this point? Ooh, he tried to catch him with a surprise knee that time, and he caught a nice counter shot. Ooh, he buries the right hand right into the side of the head. Reva Sashvili is really slowing down here in round three. He may be able to afford it though, as long as he doesn't go down with that knockdown that he scored. Final 10 seconds now. Oh, he got caught. That may have even been low. I think he was trying some kind of a flying knee and he got caught right before he could execute it. Look out. Great ending to that fight by Rodriguez. Revas oh! Ashvili looks very confident that he's won this thing. And like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I really like the spirit, the fighting spirit. decision for the red corner Alex Rodriguez